I want to talk to you about flying the kite. How many of you have ever been to Niagara Falls? Were you overwhelmed with its power? It's scary power. 1847, you could not get across from one side of Niagara Falls to the other unless you went way upstream and took a ferry. Homer Wash, he was just an old country boy from up there that lived there and he said, I got an idea. He said, no, let's have a kite flying contest. Let's get every kid that knows how to fly a kite, every adult that knows how to fly a kite, and let's bring them to the falls and put them on one side and see how good they are and see if one of them can land it on the other side. He had a plan. He had a vision. They tied a string to a fishing line, pulled it across. They tied the fishing line to a rope, pulled the rope across. They tied the rope to a cable, pulled the cable across. And now you have the first suspension bridge across Niagara Falls. Let me ask you something, man. I want you to think about this, really. What in your life are you experiencing today because of the vision of someone else? Somebody bought into a vision and did something for you. What about the players that went before you? What about the, the boosters that have given so that you have a place that looks like this? Would we be too proud? Would we be too self-absorbed to forget that? There are five schools that have played for two national championships in the last 12 years. Five. Five in the country. Five. Five. And you sit in a team meeting room of one of those five schools. So some have gone before you that had vision. Coaches have gone before me that have vision. Coaches and players have proven that this program can have a vision and accomplish something special. What are you going to leave the people that follow you? What am I going to leave the people that follow me? You want to go from, man, where, where you are right now to your destiny? You really want to flip the script and we start stacking habits.